Hey guys, today we're gonna be installing some levers on my 2004 Yamaha R1. It's pretty cold outside, and I figured since I had got these already, these are some CRT RC2 shorty levers. Uh, I will just do this today. I was bored on Sunday. Uh, yeah, might as well just do it. Uh, this one is bent. I bought this bike just like this. I haven't ridden it yet. Uh, I bought it the first week it snowed. But yeah, this lever is like that. Um, but there's not really much damage to the side of the fairings. There's like a little scratch right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how that would have happened because everything else looks pretty decent. Actually, it might have fallen over and just not touched this. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna replace that. And I bought the clutch one right away as well. Yeah, that's figure them look pretty cool they were shorty ones so i haven't done this before on an r1 i did it on a cb650 before uh so yeah we're done come along with me and see if we can figure this shit out i believe there is just one bolt right there this one does have a cable which should be able to be easily disconnected on the other side on i think there is literally just one bolt that's it and I think that's it this i don't know quite sure what not quite sure what this is but yeah we'll see i guess start on with the clutch side and then do the brake side uh this is just a 10 millimeter bolt right here or not i'm sure it's right yeah lefty loosey ready tidy and i think we should be able to just take that off right away probably doing something wrong but that's a problem we will figure out later. Okay, I was wondering because the other side that has a little slit for a, a, a screwdriver, but this side, if you push it out, it'll spin. So yeah, you don't need vice grips or anything. It's just gonna stay in there. If it's not gonna spin, if you just keep that in there, if that makes sense. So that just slides out by the looks of it. This should just pop out as well. It's kind of tight. It's halfway out already. Hmm. Let me have a look at that again. For some reason it doesn't want to pop out. Oh. looks like the little pin that holds the cable has a rubber piece around it and now it's wedging so I'm gonna make sure it's, it comes out very straight otherwise it just there we go yeah if you try to wedge it out it'll just get stuck but it looks like that worked so we are gonna put this one and just grab this piece right here. I do believe you could loosen it over here with this. That should make it easier. Oh, we're just gonna leave it right there since I don't wanna adjust anything that we can't replace again. Okay. And that just pops in like that. Use the same bolt. That just fits perfectly. Let me grab this nut. There's not a lot to this, but I figured I'd make a video anyways if one person ever does need this. Or just for shits and giggles, I guess. But yeah, that should be pretty simple, but if you do want to watch a video, this could help you. And I believe the brake one is even easier. I think that's literally just one bolt. I might be wrong, but we will see in a second. It doesn't really look that much shorter than the stock one. We're gonna have a look at that real soon here. Get that tight. Oh yeah, that's definitely shorter. <laughs> I was just gonna say it doesn't look, oh that's way shorter. And of course it's adjustable, so. 
quite sure what would be perfect. We're gonna figure that out when we ride this thing in the spring. Yeah, got that now, so time to go on the other side. For this side, we got same size nut. If I can fit this fucking ratchet in there. And this side does have a slot or slit for a flat head. So we might have to use that in order to loosen this. We're first gonna see if I can do it. Yeah. Oh, it seems to work, but yeah, that does, it's not seated in there, I guess. So you might have to use a flat head. Oh, uh, I think I have to screw that out actually. I'll go grab the flathead and see what I can do. All right, I grab a flathead screwdriver. And just as I thought, yeah, so I believe it does have a, this pin does have thread, so it needs to be screwed in and screwed out. There we go. And yeah, that just goes right out. This one in fits perfectly as I would expect. Oh, perfect. So I'm just gonna screw that in there. And they are both adjustable, so I don't have to worry about all that shit that on that one that I was worried about. Grab this nut that fell off. we go not sure how much of that you could see <laughs> I just try my best there but yeah that's you can adjust that as well have a closer well oh, actually I get a bit closer so because you can have it all the way over there hmm we're gonna figure that out in the springtime I guess so that's Well, that's just how far away it is, I guess, eh? So it adjusts for different people. I wonder, does it affect it if it doesn't go in all the way like this? It doesn't go in as far? Would that affect the clutch? As this goes, pulls it back further. We'll figure that out later, but yeah, that looks way better. Instead of having that shit there, we got nice red levers well thanks for watching short little video if it helped you awesome uh, probably wasn't very useful but maybe it was if you want to see me working on other shit i'm going to be doing more on this bike powder coating stuff and so on and so forth i will also be working on that dirt bike um, that i also bought the first week that it snowed so i have not driven that yet either and i have not really ever ridden a dirt bike before but i bought a 450 because it was a good deal because it was the beginning of winter and we might be working on this Aprilia. Uh, we already did some shit on that, but yeah. If you want to see any of that, feel free to subscribe and see you next time.